The added to cart modal pop-up is a nice little feature to indicate to your users that they've added something to their cart when shopping. It works like this. We go to the shop, select the product, and once we click on add it to the cart, this little pop-up appears here in the bottom right corner showing you the product as well as giving the shopper the opportunity to add related products to their cart. Let's talk about how you can do this in WordPress using the Bloxy theme. <laughs> Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. My name is JP here at Websites for Beginners, and let's see how we can bring that awesome little WooCommerce pop-up to your website if you have a store. And I think it's a great way to show the shopper that they've added something to their cart, and of course, you are showing them some other products that they can also add. I love it. It's a nice little visual cue that gives them some idea of what's going on. How are we going to do that? This is a pro feature and it comes with the Bloxy theme premium. You can check out the link in the description below. Let's go into WordPress and see how we do that with all of the plugins installed. And that will be the theme, the companion for Bloxy Pro. You go to Bloxy in the sidebar on the left, click on Bloxy. And then from the tabs here, we select extensions. These are all the add-ons that comes with the theme. There are so many pro extensions, especially this one, the Shop Extra. This is everything to do with WooCommerce. You're going to see when I click on it, and this little green dot is an indicator that some of these modules have already been activated because I'm running an awesome WooCommerce store. Click on Shop Extra, and then scroll all the way to the bottom or where you see Added to Cart pop-up. Let's switch it on for Extreme Shopper Experience, and then you can customize it directly from this little box. But I'm not going to click on this one because this will take you directly to all the settings. I want to do it all the way from the beginning so you have an idea of where you can find it. To do that, we go over to our appearance and we select Customize. And you know you can access the customizer from so many places. This is just one of them. Here in the navigation sidebar on the left, scroll to where you see the WooCommerce. And then you go to General. At the bottom, we find the added to cart pop-up. So every time you activate an extension in the theme, it's going to show here. If you don't see it, it means it hasn't been activated or that you don't have a premium subscription. Added to cart pop-up, oh, amazing stuff happening here, Bobby. First, let's add something to the cart so we can style it out. I'll go to shop and then we add one and I'm going to choose one here by the filters that has many products. We have this body. And there are six products in that. Let's select this one. Clo Clove, Clove Tonka Parfum. I guess it's perfume. And then click on Add to Cart. And this is going to give us that little pop-up again. Very nice. A quick look at what this pop-up is all about. It says success. You know, your product has successfully been added. And then it gives the product plus price and the cart total. This is really cool. So if you are shopping a lot and you have like a budget you are working with, it's going to really help the visitor and the shopper to show them what is the current total so that they don't exceed their maximum. But what's also cool is that you have these related products here at the bottom. Now, let's style it out. Start at the very top. The first thing you have is that you can choose where this pop-up will appear. If you have Add to Cart on the shop page or just on the individual pages, you can choose that. The shop page is the archive page and also your categories. I'll probably leave it on. And then, of course, the product page. Then you have image. If you need some real estate, you can untoggle this. I like the image, very visual. And you have the opportunity here to set the ratio. I like a one to one. Let's say you go to 16 to nine, and you can also change whether it is landscape or portrait, but let's go to one to one. And then you have image width here in percentage. Yep, that's percentage. Let's see for 35, makes it nice and bigger. It also stretches it. You have to decide. I do like the bigger one, but let's go down to, let's say, 30. Under this is everything you can show or hide. You have the price. Yep, we're going to leave that on. Description, not sure if you want that. That's why people added it. So save some space by untoggling the description. Your cart button, three buttons you can add here is to view the cart. The next one is the checkout. So now we can go immediately to checkout. I so want to leave this one on, but at the same time, I just feel three buttons in the pop-up. Feels a little bit crowded, you know, 
raise the crown, but I do like this button. Leave it off for now, and then you have the continue shopping button. Very important, this one. Below this, you have options to show or hide the attributes. So attributes, nothing here. If you have attributes, they'll pop up here. Your shipping info, if you want to have shipping cost, and then tax info, probably both of these can go off, and then the total. I think the total is really important. Then we get to the suggested products below this, and you can choose from related products or the recently viewed products. Choose one of them and then set the columns. If you want more than just the two, you can go for three, and you can choose the number of products. I know this category only has six, so it doesn't really matter. If you want to constrain this, you can do it here. You can limit it by reducing it. And the reason why you don't always want to show all your products is because people get overwhelmed with information. And now my modal is gone. So let's click another Add to Cart, and we should see two of them now there. So you can see, since I've added this, it still says I've added the product, but you can see that my cart total is double because there are two of them in there. Let's go back to the left and look at what else we have here for the suggested products. We were looking at the columns, and remember, whenever you see these, this gives you the indication that you can set them differently for the responsive design. Autoplay, I'll leave that on, and then you have a delay in seconds for how long it will pause on those various ones. Then, before I go to product card type, just a quick one over here, the design. You can set custom design here. But I prefer, especially with Bloxy and when you're going full in on a theme, that you stick with the theme colors and font settings. But if you do feel that some of this you want a little bit bigger or you want a different color, you can do that under the design. Back to general, you have two product types or car types. Type 1 and Type 2 gives you this much bigger image display. I think Type 1 is cool. Uh, type 2, not bad. It's kind of great and visual. And then the product's visibility. Here you have, again, this option for responsive visibility on the different devices. Currently, it will not show. If I go to my mobile device, you will see those suggested products do not show at the bottom. And I think that saves a lot of space. Below this are the pop-up options. And you have how it will slide in the animation. And if you want to see how this looks, you will have to refresh your screen every time. It's not going to update here, but you have quite a number that you can choose from. A few settings below that, you have medium size currently, small size. I actually like the small one. But I mean, if you're going to have this pop up, you may as well just go big, especially if you have those related products that you want to promote at the bottom. Then you have your pop up position. I really like it here in the bottom right, but there may be a reason why you want to drop it somewhere else. I think the two cases is probably the center and bottom right. That's what I would say where these two should go. And then the pop-up visibility, you can again select here on which of these devices they should show. And that's how this pop-up works. Awesome little extra feature. I'll just mention again the design here at the top. You have different areas for design, not only for the suggested products, but also for the general pop-up if you want to make those changes. Let's publish this and go view it on the front end. And this is so easy. I like it when I don't have to think too much about how to set everything up. Great that this feature comes within Bloxy. Hop on to the front, and it's getting a little chilly in here. Slowly summer is approaching here. Yes, we're in the southern hemisphere over here. Let's go again to our shop, and then select something different this time. Let's go to legs. Yeah, show them legs. Oh, yeah. And then Vringilla cream. Sounds like something from The Witcher. And let's add five of these. See how that will looks. Add to cart. And we get our pop-up. Five of them at 89. Okay, that's 89. And then total plus everything that is in your cart should be this. Uh, it should be nice if there was a quantity showing here to say that I've added five. But it only shows the product that you've added, not the quantity. Hmm, maybe that could be a cool new feature. Then you can say continue shopping. Let's click that and it goes back to the page you are on. Let's jump to another category, add something else. We've got loads of money to spend. Uh, this time it's Chris Elephant. And we are going to say for dry skin, add to cart. 
And from here we click view to cart and this takes us into our cart and we can go ahead with the checkout process. Awesome feature, loads of other new stuff that recently came in with Bloxy2. You remember to give us a like because we like likes and I'll see you in the next video.